Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys today? I am so excited to bring you this awesome card. I'm using the Marius Moments Bundle and it has the most gorgeous dies and embossing folders that are with it. I'm going to use that today to make this really pretty festive card. This is the inside. All right, so let's get started. We're going to be using this stamp set here. Move that out of the way temporarily. This embossing folder we're going to use. And we're going to use some of the dies that are here. We're going to put some really cool sequins on there. And we have a few ink pads. Let's move those just to the side so that I can make some room for what we're going to be doing. I'm going to pull the dies out so you can see. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to emboss the top of the card. And so in order to do that, we're going to use this embossing folder. So we are going to go ahead and stick this quarter sheet of cardstock in here. And you kind of want it to be straight. Just make sure that these leaves and these leaves are within the range. So I can pull it down a little bit. So I have some more room. I want them to be about even. That looks pretty good to me. And we're gonna go ahead and run it through. We're gonna use the stamp and cut and emboss machine, the big guy. And so let's go ahead and get that started. We will need the platform, which is plate number one. And then we will put this little sandwich in there and then we're gonna need plate number four. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And then we need plate number four. There's number four. And let's crank that through. Now I do have a tutorial up that shows you how to use this hybrid embossing folder with the dies that come with it to get a variety of different effects. So check out that video as well. So here is the embossing folder. Isn't it gorgeous? I just think it's so pretty. So we can do that a second time. I've done it ahead so that you didn't have to sit here and watch. And then there is a die that you put over the top that cuts out the outline. Like I said, check out the video and you will learn how to use the different elements. But that is how we got the more detailed die that we are gonna be using on the front of this card. So the embossing you can see it here in the background these little stars that are on here they're in the background of my card so that's what this is but this more detailed green one i've done that ahead of time and um there's a video on how to do that so you can see that but we are going to attach this right over the top of that one that's already embossed on here we're going to glue that in place and that is going to form the frame for our main card Okay, just like that. So to get this detailed look, you use the hybrid folder that we use to do this, but there's some dies that go with it. They all come together in the die in the package. So um, like I said, just check the video and it'll show you how to do that. But let's go ahead and do a little um, sponging on this before we stick it down. And I'm gonna use the white ink pad. I wanted it to kind of look like it had a little bit of, I don't know, snow on the tips. So I'm gonna use a sponge dauber. When you buy those, they come in a pack like this. There's five of them in here. I pulled this one out to use. And so we're just gonna ink it in the Craft White ink pad. And you just wanna use a light hand because it's just gonna be a dusting, right? We don't want it all over or too dark. We just wanna look like we got a light dusting of snow on our, I just thought since it was such a dark green, it would look really pretty to look like it got a dusting on there. So that's all I'm gonna do. So you can see how little it is that we've actually used, but it serves the purpose. So now we're gonna go ahead and glue that down. I'm gonna use it on this paper. We're gonna use our multi-purpose glue, which comes in the green and white tube here. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit on each of these leaf pieces. 
not a whole lot but enough so that it will stay in place. This is a really strong adhesive and so you really don't need very much of it. It goes a long way. So, but I do wanna put a little bit on each spot because that way I know that it's adhered and stuck down. So when I stick it in the mail, whoever's gonna get this Christmas card is gonna have a card that's gonna stay in place. So that's pretty good right there tiny bit more in the beginning here and let's go ahead and add a little in the middle like that all right so let's bring this in and we're gonna flip this piece over and then we're going to line it up so that it matches this die and it's really easy to match in place because it kind of nests on top of it and you just are gonna press that into place and see how pretty that um, the little snow effect is on there. I think it looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna put a little bit of Blackberry Bliss which is this dark purple color. And we're gonna do these cute little speckles that are kind of star-like. So I'm gonna just stamp those around the edge. I don't want too many, but I just want enough speckles all the way around. I think I missed, there we go. And there, and a tiny bit more, I think, maybe just this corner. All right, that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and clean that off and we will stamp our words in the center there. So that is another die. It comes as part of the embossing folder. This is the die and we are going, that's what this is cut out of. It's cut out of a piece of Sahara sand, just like the background. And I've done that ahead of time. So that's what this is cut with right here. We're gonna stamp that with thinking of you this festive season. Same ink color. I got a little on my finger. If you don't have inky fingers, inky hands, then um, you haven't really been stamping, right? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that I have that well inked. Give it a nice press. Mm. There we go, thinking of you this festive season. All right, we are also going to stamp a scrap paper here. I'm gonna clean that because this purple ink loves to dye the stamps. And not, I mean, they're already dyed, but I can't tell that it's on there because they are already dyed in that color and I don't wanna stick my hand in it by accident and have ink on it. So we're gonna do, you can see this sprig of holly leaves and then this little sprig at the top. Um, so let's go ahead and stamp those. Let me open my Evening Evergreen ink pad. We're gonna use both of these. So let's go ahead and grab our holly berries. We'll do one here, and one here, and one more in front of it. And then let's do our sprig in the Blackberry Bliss like that looks good and then we'll put the berries right here all right let's close these ink pads up and clean our stamps so i don't stick my hand in them again <laughs> we're gonna just do a little bit more stamping on the inside of the card So I'll have to do cleaning one more time. I'm gonna put these to the side and let's go ahead and stamp 
the inside of our card. See, that's what it says. A joyful Christmas to you and yours. And then there's this really pretty like pine bow and some sprinkles. So we're going to grab our card front, which is our eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it down the middle and I've burnished it. So it's in half now. And this is what our piece is going to get attached onto. We're gonna glue that down onto there. But the inside of it is gonna get those words, a joyful Christmas to you and yours. And that is gonna be in this evening evergreen. So let's go ahead and ink that up. And we will stamp that right here in the center. Pretty. And then we're gonna use these little pine bow. And I'm gonna stamp first generation and then second generation to get that second one off right there and then we're going to put a little bit of those sprinkles in the blackberry bliss i'm going to grab that scrap paper back in here for a second and tuck it in this corner so that if i go off the side it won't get anywhere but on the paper so that's what the inside looks like all right we are done stamping. Now we have to um, attach our card together and die cut out our pieces. So let's clean these last three stamps here. It's a fairly simple card. The star really is this hybrid embossing folder with the dies. Don't forget to check out that video so you can learn how to use it. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach this to the front of the card. We're gonna use our seal adhesive for that. So let me grab that. I think I want this corner on the top and we'll fill the holly over this holly. I'm going to flip that around. I like it a little better this direction, I think. After I had it in place, I thought, hmm, not sure I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay, and if there's any sticking out, there isn't, we're good. But I am going to go ahead and use my bone folder and give it a nice little burnish. All right, so here's our front. We're going to pop this up and we're going to use our Stampin' Dimensionals for that. So let's go ahead and add those. One to the center. We're gonna pull the backs off. I always put one in the center so that the paper doesn't sag down there. It has a little support. All right, so here is our thinking of you this festive season. I'm gonna bring it down so I can see better. And we will get it right here in the center of our main piece. Looking good so far, guys. I'm going to um, die cut these out, but so that you guys don't have to watch me since there's just one holly die and I have to do it three times, I've gone ahead and done those for us ahead. So here they are. So we are going to attach this sprig next and it's gonna be tucked right here in this corner. I'm gonna use some wet adhesive for it. Just like that. Whoops, stuck to my finger. <laughs> we'll go ahead and tuck that under like so. Such a pretty little sprig there. And then these are going to be attached together and then we will put the dimensionals on them. So I have to figure out how I want them. So on this one here, I turned one this direction and then I, want, I put the one next to it this direction, like this. And then I turned the other one so that this stripe was on the outer portion and glued those three together. That's what I think I'm gonna do. This one's gonna go on top, so let's put a little bit adhesive there. We'll glue these two first. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on both of those sides. And then this one's gonna go there. And then we'll put the berries, whoops. I guess I didn't put enough adhesive there. Let's hold it a little, a little longer. 
into place. This glue is a really strong bond, but it does take a minute for it to grab. There we go. And now we'll put some down here for the berries. And we'll put them in this direction. Like that. So pretty. I really like this little sprig. Let's see, that looks good. So let's flip it over. We'll put some dimensionals on the back. Now, as you can see, I've reached the end, but never fear. We will cut these apart and use them on our pieces. I kind of want these near the tips more than the back end because this is going to be attached actually onto this corner. So I'm going to put some, some wet adhesive on it. And then we'll use our take your pick tool and pull these backs off. And we will attach this in the corner like so. So pretty. And then the finishing touch is going to be our artistry bloom. Not artistry blooms. Yeah, artistry blooms adhesive back sequence. They come in a little package like this. Let me move all of this stuff out of the way and grab them. I have another package already opened. I'm going to use the point here of the take your pick tool and I do want to use the larger one so let's pull them up we'll put one over here oops there we go one over here on this piece got to put one on the other side right so it doesn't get lonely all right we'll put this one over here how about hmm yeah, I want it on the berries. I mean, on the leaves there. And that is our card. Here is the inside. What do you think? I think it turned out super awesome. I'm very happy with it. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm kind of new to YouTube, so if you don't mind um, liking, commenting, or sharing, and subscribing, um, when you subscribe, you're going to get notifications of when I am live again with another video. And um, ask your friends to subscribe to you. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, my website is Inky Hands Warm Hearts. It's where you can find inspiration, PDFs, measurements, lots of things. I do blog every single day, so there's always lots of inspiration. With this bundle, I have stamped, um, I have blogged for seven days, so check it out so you can see seven days worth of content. And I greatly appreciate your time. Um, this is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Thanks again for watching. Happy stamping!